sort of. Come on. You feel something moving here? Yes. Huh? Yes, it's true. Go, go into your private down there. Yes, it's true. Huh? And there's a yes, it's true. Mm. So now today God will set you free. Yeah? Thank you oh, so you much. God, God will set you free because I also saw your menstruation. It's, yes, it's not normal. It's the flow is not good. It's not good at oh, all. You hear me? Yes. So God will set you free today. Come on. Ow. Come on. Ow. Out. Oh. Out in the name of Jesus. Lift up. Come on. I want I want God to promote you. Listen. Satan has been promoting wrong people where you're working. Are you hearing me? Look at me. Satan has been promoting what? Huh? Wrong people. Listen, sister. Satan has been promoting wrong people where you're working. Are you hearing me? Yes. Huh? Can I tell you what I'm seeing? Where you're working there, I'm seeing people that are using that are going to another church that I can't mention. And there are many there. They are going to another church using wrong spirits to be promoted. So now, this year, God must promote you. And I'm seeing, after you're promoted, I'm seeing a house that God will give you. You heard what I said? Where is that lady? You heard what I said? Huh? Yes. Mm. Because people are using things to be promoted. We must use God to be what? Promoted. When people are using things to be promoted, God must come now and bring a solution into this company. Amen. Because same thing that I'm seeing now here, in, because this is Coca-Cola company, eh? Yes. Now, I'm seeing the same spirit in Johannesburg in a company called Transnet. Transnet. I'm seeing people of... Oh, yes. Huh? <laughs> That put things here. Yes. Hey. And I'm seeing the same spirit in Johannesburg. I won't say more than that. Speak in parables. I leave it like that. So God wants to give you money. Oh, you hear know I me? Mean? God wants to give you money uh, because of the business. Thank God. You know, the rooms you want to build, they are coming. This, the real estate business is coming. It's very close. Forgive. Eh? Are you ready? Amen. Have a forgiving spirit. Amen. Have what? Forgiveness spirit. A forgiving spirit. Because now, to everyone, it's like you're a bad person. Huh? So, if you forgive, things will open up. Okay. Listen, many of us, if we don't forgive, it's like we're holding ourselves like this. If you forgive, boom! Everything will open up. Amen. Forgive your sister. Amen. For, forgive your sister. At the end of the day, you're from the same mother. I want to pray for you. Come here. 
Where is your child? She's at home. Hmm? She's at home. Someone disappointed you. Are you with me? Yes. Let's pray against this disappointment. Amen. You understand? Amen. Give me that. So now, if this disappointments can go, God will give you nice marriage. Amen. Which is something that has never happened in the family. No, it hasn't. That's what I'm telling you. Thank you, Jesus. It has never happened. You must be the first one to wear a white wedding. Amen. White wedding. What about which is that's Lishira Fella. Sister, you know no one has ever done that. No, not in my family. Can you hear that? No one has ever done a white wedding. God will make you the first one. I receive, amen. The people that are owing you money, they'll bring it. Bring it, thank you. It was a lot of money. It's the best for this man. Like, hey, thank you, thank you. The people that are owing you money. Yes, man, of course. I'm giving them seven days. Thank you. Mm. Are you hearing me? Yes, thank you, man, of course. The people that took your money, I'm giving them seven days. Thank you. They must bring this money. They must bring it wherever they are. I say, you people, you people, bring this money now. Bring this money now. Aye. Touch your stomach. There's something here. Yes. You see here? Huh? I feel. You it feel too. something moving here? Yeah. Come on. And sometimes when you're eating food, you feel like you want to throw up. Yes. Huh? Yeah. Come on. Come on. Come on. Oh my God. Sorry, Ceci, sorry. Where's your wife, sir? Where's your wife? She's at the home. Huh? At the home. Can you stop there? I want to pray for you. I said one minute we're close. I want to pray for you. Oh, you hear me? Yes, prophet. Uh, I want God to restore your life. Yes, prophet. This is confusion. Yes, prophet. You know, that is killing you. And there's great destiny ahead of you. Great destiny. But Satan wants to confuse you and confuse you and confuse you. That's so true. Because I saw a lady that is a little bit scra, a little bit thin like me. Yes. Close to your life. Yes. Huh? Yes, Prophet. Huh? Yes, Prophet. White in complexion. Yes. That's so huh? true. That's so true. And now this lady, she does not know anything. You know, I just want God to help you. Yes. I don't want to speak more than that. I want God to help you. Yes. For the sake of the ministry. Yes. Are you hearing me? Yes. Yes, Prophet. So now, let's pray for God to solve all these problems. You understand? Yes, prophet. Let's, go, let's pray so that God must solve what? Problems. All these problems. If it's a will of God, <laughs> continue like that. If it's a will of God. Yes. Because we're going to pray. What I know is that prayer can change everything. Yes. Even if I don't tell you what I want to tell you because I'm saving someone. But if I pray for you, 
the will of God. Remember, we always, we don't want to, you know, frustrate people. Huh? I will just speak small ne? and pray for you. From there, you will be surprised that you are taking the direction of God. Or wherever you are, you find it's still the plan of God. You understand? Yes, prophet of God. So now I want to pray for you. You know, for the sake of your son. For the sake of your son. Because I saw it, it was not long. Uh, you wanted to buy him a cake. Yes. Huh? Yes. Hmm. Yes. Is it uh, August? Yes, that's not true. August. Hmm. Your son was birthday. So for the sake of this boy, let us, I'm praying your life must be in order now. If it is the will of God, let it stay like that. Because the will of God is more important than us. If it is what? The will of God for his ministry, let it be so. If it is the will of God. Because I don't see it possible for you to to go back to where you're coming from. That's so true. But you have got sleepless nights. That's you know, so true. Asking yourself a lot of questions. Is it, am I doing, is it, is it, am I right? Or am I wrong? You know when a relationship is still new, ne? everything is very nice. You'll call each other baby left and right. Six months, seven months, eight months, nine months, every ten months to eleven months now. What am I for? When you are still under one year, ne? I give you sweet tea, my strawberry, my no, my cup, of, my cup of cake. You know my chandelier. <laughs> you know, I, I know relationship. You know, I've been there myself. Everything when is new, you don't want to go far away from each other. But when time is going, reality starts to kick in. Now that's where love is needed. Now you're going to be tested, whether you are you really love this person or not. One day you'll before you sleep. I'm going to close now, don't worry. I'm going to close now, don't worry. I'm going to close now, don't You start to ask yourself a lot of questions. It's when a year is finished. You know when a year is finished? Now, kids are starting to come now. Starting to come. Whether the relationship is still new, many of the relationships they become new when, I mean, they become nice when they're still new. But a time of testing is coming. Are you hearing me? A time of what is coming to show whether you really love this person or not. It's coming for. You can ask people that have been married for a very long time, they will tell you. There was a point where in their marriages they wanted to stop. Today when I get a parka, ask them, they will tell you. There's no one on this earth that is still married now. Well, Karen, now I've been enjoying myself. Even if they are showing, they can show us as if now things are fine, everything is nice. Ask them, they will tell you, there, will be, there are days where now I think I'm tired. Or mama, and I think I'm tired. Because it's not about men only. Hey, Kabbalah, too much. Let's leave it. I want to pray for this man because I love him. I love him. I want God to, to help him. But God will help you. Yes. So now my message for you, I don't want to speak to reveal more about these things. If it is the will of God, 
Yes. Let us continue. Yes. And if it is not the will of God, let allow let's allow God to be visible. Yes. Let him come and show us that this is not the right direction. Yes. By a certain sign. Yes. I spoke two things. If it is the will of God, let us carry on. But if it's not the will of God, a sign must come. Yes. Because you love God. Yes. And it will come. Yes. And I, In I, Jesus I, mighty name. There's a brother there, you've got a headache problem. Brother, pray for your head. Eh? That one. You always feel a headache. Yes. Huh? Even right now, I'm feeling it. Even now? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. This is more like a migraine. Come here. God will heal you. I'm closing now. Today I was so relaxed. I was enjoying myself. The couple that was there, in Jesus' mighty name, you are feeling a very terrible headache. Yeah? Yes. Come on. Come on. Out in the name of Jesus. Jesus. 